Good morning, Avondale. Happy Friday. I'm going to ask you to indulge me for just a little bit this morning because today, of course, is the, it's Friday. It's the last day of the week. It's the last school day of this first month of 2021. It was this week, a year ago, when the first case positive of COVID-19 was uh, identified in Canada. It was this month where our neighbors to the south uh, ushered in a new era, not only for themselves, but for the world, hopefully, uh, with a new president. And it was during that inauguration that an incredible young voice was heard across the world. But to go back about a year's time, at the start of this pandemic, in April of 2020, the poet Amanda Gordon, um, Gorman wrote this piece and a dear friend shared it with me this week. And I would like to open our morning with it today with me sharing it to you. It's called The Miracle of Morning. I thought I'd awaken to a world in mourning. Heavy clouds crowding, a society storming. But there's something different in this golden morning. Something magical in the sunlight, wide and warming. I see a dad with a stroller taking a jog. Across the street, a bright-eyed girl chases her dog. A grandma on her porch fingers her rosaries. She grins as her young neighbor brings her groceries. While we might feel small, separate, and all alone, our people have never been more closely tethered. The question isn't if we can weather this unknown, but how will we will weather this unknown together. So on this meaningful morn, we mourn and we mend. Like light, we can't be broken even when we bend. As one, we will defeat both despair and disease. We stand with healthcare heroes and all employees, with families, libraries, waiters, schools, artists, businesses, restaurants, and hospitals hit hardest. We ignite not in the light, but in lack thereof, for it is in loss that we truly learn to love. In this chaos, we will discover clarity. In suffering, we must find solidarity. For it's our grief that gives us our gratitude, shows us how to find hope if we ever lose it. So ensure that this ache wasn't endured in vain. Do not ignore the pain, give it purpose, use it. Read children's books, dance alone to DJ music. Know that this distance will make our hearts grow fonder. From these waves of woe, our world will emerge stronger. We'll observe how the burdens braved by humankind are also the moments that make us humans kind. Let each morning find us courageous, brought closer, heeding the light before the fight is over. When this ends, we'll smile sweetly, finally seeing in testing times, we became the best of beings. Amanda Gorman, April 2020. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend. And as we usher in a new month, let's hope for wonderful, wonderful beginnings.